U.S. who were detained is not altered. And the judges said, well, doesn't that mean there's no problem here, at least as to citizens? And we answered, of course, it says, though, that it applies to people detained in the U.S. And so it presumes they're going to be detained under some law, and the only law we know of is this law. <laughs> and I said to Judge Lowe here, I think when the government gets back up, you ought to ask them, well, what other laws before this one allow the military to detain people in this country? Which so at the end, if you recall, if you were there, he said, you know, Mr. Afford dared us to ask you this question. And it's a little technique because judges forget things. You gotta say, Judge, ask them this. <laughs> and when the government, Mr. Lowe got back up, he didn't have an answer. He said, I don't know. And that's very significant. I don't know what will happen. You can't predict what judges do. I don't know that they were against us. I think they were testing this point to see whether how would we would respond. Um, and I, I would never guess. I would simply say we had a full and well-flushed out argument. Carl, what do you think? It reminded me of when we, uh, when we argued the preliminary injunction uh, hearing uh, back in March. Um, the same pattern occurred afterwards. Uh, Tangerine took us to the anteroom. She told us all the things, the arguments that we should have made, we didn't make, and how we were definitely going to lose. And then we won. So the same thing happened here, and I'm hoping we'll get the same result. But it's impossible, it's impossible to predict what, what, what judges will do. And uh, Tangerine, maybe you can ask, answer the question about the, the Second Amendment, because I, I remember you, you said that uh, the, there's an amicus uh, brief from the Gun Owners of America. Is that correct? Or? Okay, all right. Well, how, how did you get them to sign on, and, and why did they sign on? Well, Anyone? <laughs> uh, let, me, let, me say, let me say this. Yeah. The conservatives are not our enemies. You know, you got to realize that. The conservatives and liberals share a lot in common. The people, and the President Obama's wrong. He thinks he's going to alienate Republicans if he vetoes these types of laws. He's wrong. He gets support from Republicans if he takes these positions. They're not our enemies. The judges that Carl and I often do best with, frankly, are conservative judges because they have a great libertarian tradition. And so, you know, I, I don't know where we, you know, how the gun owners directly would view this case or us if we say the Second Amendment should be changed. But I would use that question as a pivot to say liberals and conservatives have a lot in common. And that's what makes the country great, that we share common values. This division between them is artificial. Conservatives believe in, in civil liberties, they believe in free speech. The greatest supporter of free speech in the United States right now, who would you say it is? Scalia. Scalia. Give whoever that is a prize, because it's Scalia. <laughs> it's Justice Scalia. And if you're looking to protect free speech, you don't want to go with the liberals. You need Scalia first.